going on everybody uh this morning on instagram i was uh asked if i could do a video on this rocket stove build i was working on so get a little in the depth and kind of go over what i use and how i did it and how it works and you can see it's already all seasoned we just got done cooking on it got some uh Got some briquettes down there, a little bit of pine, some cottonwood. <clears throat> She's going through that low smoke, and you can feel the heat from right here. These things, right? I mean, in the winter time, cooking, just producing heat. These are where it's at. Yeah, it may be overkill, but I like overbuilding stuff. So this one's for me. So I'm really worried about it. And I left it raw, unfinished. That way you guys can see all kind of what I did and what went into it. <clears throat> so this is six by six industrial tubing. These were uh, support beams in a warehouse that I cut out. So what I did is I just cut a good size chunk, 45 did, cut a hole out, welded that on, welded some feet. So when you get out in the dirt, you go camping, you put it in there and it's, it ain't going nowhere. I mean, this thing's heavy enough it doesn't move anyways and I just notched out a little bit right here on the top got some uh i'm pretty sure that's three eighths flat plate or flat bar put that on there this little piece right here that's to separate the wood you get your air also on the bottom i got i cut nine holes in the bottom four big the rest are small that way, oh, let me get my uh, let me get my other piece here. Okay, so I got my other piece. That's this guy here. It's just crooked because it's on the log. But I uh, just fabbed up a little handle, some half inch bar. You know, cut some plate to fit over there. All it does is cover the wood up. That way, it shoots all the smoke and fire out that guy right there. It works. It's kind of like a vacuum because the holes are on the bottom. And then this is all I kind of did, just something cheap, just out of, you know, just scrap by laying around the shop. That goes there, sucks in air there, sucks in air from the bottom. It all comes up this way. I don't have too big a fire going on right now because I'm not, I don't really need it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to go check out my Instagram, it's Cutting Edge Mobile Welding uh, underscore LLC. You'll see the full build. I'll go over kind of more of what I used and a little better breakdown on there. Just want to kind of get this video out because I was asked to see how it works. Then want to see it in the video on YouTube. So, but yeah, these things are these things are where it's at, especially up here, Pacific Northwest. We get crappy winters. The uh, fire's taking off now. And if you just if you're curious, this thing's just shy of 100 pounds. So you guys know me, I'm humongous, so it doesn't really take much for me to pack it around. But somebody else, this is extremely overkill. But. It's just shy of three and a half feet tall. So, but I mean, for me, it's perfect getting a, a pan on top, cooking, then all the heat this thing produces. These things are where it's at. So, I just kind of came up with a similar idea in my head. Went on to Google, Pinterest, whatever. Uh, saw a couple on Instagram. And I kind of went and did my own thing and made it how I wanted it. Everybody's got their own way, their own way of doing things, but it works for me. I love it. I've already made, let's see, I think about nine or ten of these. Shipped them out as far as Montana, Idaho, uh, ones in Texas, California, and a few more in Washington. So obviously this one be astronomical to ship, but 
I've shipped them and they've paid, so that's all that matters, right? But yeah, that's my humongous industrial rocket stove. And this winter I'll have, uh, I'll do some cooks outside. We'll try to, I was thinking about trying to hook up a rotisserie to this, but I don't know if I want to or how that'd work or, but, uh, and the best part, I didn't weld the grate on top. The grate's removable. So let me get my pliers on. All right, guys, got my trusty whelpers. So this guy comes off here. Set him down the side. And you can stoke this bad boy up. Winter time, we'll have two three-foot flames come out of there. Okay. Who doesn't love playing with fire? I'll do it just for you guys. Oh, there we go. See if we can melt that GoPro. Yeah, these things, I love them. Easy to make, easy to get. I mean, you can make them out of anything pretty much. I've seen people make them out of trash cans, like the metal trash cans or barrels and you see the little tiny like 16 12 gauge ones little tiny guys but hey they work put this guy back on good to go put that on it just shoots all the, the heat up this way oh and the reason why this is at a 45 so it self feeds the wood. So the wood, once it burns, see this started out, stuck up about that far, but now it's burnt, it's way in there. So gravity feeds, just keeps going back in there and you keep shoving more and more in there. And you close your little, close your little guy there. And there it goes again, look at that. This gets hot real quick. So, but yeah. Like I said, if you guys have any more questions, comments, go check out my Instagram. It'll be on my Facebook. Facebook's the same, Cutting Edge Mobile Welding. Uh, drop a comment, share this video, uh, subscribe, and yeah, I'll start putting out more content, building more stuff for the winter. Yeah, all right, one more. Boom. Alright guys, have a good one.